Hey, did you just get braces on? And now you're a freshman in the marching band, or maybe you're a junior in the marching band, and you play trumpet, uh, French horn or trombone, you know, those, uh, especially the trombone, that's a little bit easier if you got braces. French horn is even harder, but French horn, you're typically not trying to get up into the, you know, the um, loud crashing waves of sound that um, the whole march band trumpet section might have to do. So, is there a way to, to get yourself back to where you were, maybe even better, without crushing your lips into those barbed wires of your braces on your teeth? Yes, there is. For many, many years now, uh, more than a decade, um, I've been using this one awesome technique. I guess it's a little known technique because I don't hear about other people doing it. Extensive practice in the tier two range of pedal tones. Using your tongue arch like you would if you were playing above the staff. So it's, I guess it's not common knowledge. If you want to get back to where you were, trumpet guy or trumpet gal, and you got braces, and you're trying to just get back to where you were, or maybe even get better, but it's feeling horrible right now and painful, and you're, let's just say you, you can barely play an F on the staff, you know, that's going to really, you know, that's really going to suck, I mean, to go through the school year like that. So, you practice this, and I guarantee that you'll be able to get either close to where you were, or maybe even a little bit better than where you were. And the reason is practice, practicing extensively in the tier two range of pedal tones is like practicing a high C to double G, almost. Except you're not gonna crush your lips against the barbs in the braces in your mouth. So, um, first things first, you should already have an understanding of pedal tones, or at least if you don't understand what they are, you might wanna search some of my other tutorials. Maybe I'll include a link of um, um, some pedal tones, you know, that we've done. If I find that I haven't actually included that on my YouTube channel, I'll probably include a, just a course, uh, you know, very brief over, overview of it. But pedal tone basically starts below F sharp. Our lowest note, our natural acoustical note on the trumpet is F sharp. If you try to go below that without manipulating your amateur, you can't. You can't go below that note unless you do something with your lips, your air, your tongue. And that's what we're doing with pedal tones. Pedal tone is a manipulation of those things I just mentioned. So tier two pedal tone notes. This is the heavy duty, heavyweight contender of the pedal tones. It is the most difficult. So. This is not a walk in the park. The technique I'm telling you is actually somewhat advanced. You'd be better off to be working with somebody like me or another specialist in range and endurance um, taking you through this, but this is just to get you started or just just say you don't have the extra cha-ching right now um, to have one of us brass coaches work with you. At least you can be doing something on your own and making some kind of progress. So here it is, to increase to still be able to increase your range on your trumpet, even though you got braces, you're going to be practicing the notes in the tier two range. What are those notes? Pedal C. And the easy way to do it is just to do octave tester notes. You would play the normal low C on the horn, open, down an octave. That's pedal C. B, natural, to pedal B. B flat, low B flat down to pedal B flat. Low A down to pedal A. Low A flat down to pedal A flat. Low G down to pedal G, and you must play it one and three both ways, folks. Don't cheat. One and three for the low G, and one and three for the pedal G only. And finally, the last pedal tone in the tier two 
um, range of pedal tones is the uh, G flat or F sharp. So here's the low F sharp G flat. <laughs> Drop it an octave. <laughs> All right. So those are the notes in the tier two pedal range. Uh, pedal C, pedal B, pedal B flat, pedal A, pedal A flat, pedal G, and pedal G flat or F sharp. And you got to finger the low pedal G as one and three, the pedal G flat F sharp as all of them down only for those last two. Okay, let's see. So your job right now, if you don't have a lot of experience with pedal tones, is to go ahead and go out to the woodshed and start working on these. And it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Think about it, you're actually playing in a range that's, that's very similar to this range up here. So I just play the notes in upper register on trumpet. High C, high D, high E, high F, and double G. Those are what most would agree on are considered upper register. Uh, if you go above the double G, then you get into at least what I call extreme extreme upper register. So when you're practicing in the tier two of pedal tones, amazingly enough, it's just almost as if you're practicing and killing yourself. <laughs> right? Now, if you were doing that with braces, you might be going, oh, my Lord. You might start crying because it's going to be painful. It's really going to hurt. But with uh, my technique and the trumpet exercise I just gave you for practicing tier two pedal tones, it is a life saving moment because you can really still continue to increase the embouchure, the strength, and even some of the compression. You won't be hurting your lips hardly at all in the tier two range of pedal tones. Now, there are some other tips and tricks to enable. The tier two pedal tones to come out and that's where people like myself or other people that might have an expertise in range and endurance can help you out but at least right now if you want to do it on your own you at least got something that's going to help increase your range and endurance on the trumpet even though you got braces see you next one i'm kurt thompson Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and welcome to my channel. That's youtube.com slash your brass instructor. Thanks for just watching the video that you did. Maybe it's the first one that you've watched or maybe you've watched tons of my videos. In fact, as of June 2016, as a brass player and trumpet player, I have the most tutorials free on the planet. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel currently, all free. So again, thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Sometimes I make a video just to make you laugh. A lot of times I make a video to educate you on something and maybe even help solve a problem. So I hope something like that occurred for you in this video. And while you're at it, again, subscribe, click on my website link and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.